Hey guys, and welcome back to this Tottenham FIFA 18 career mode. Perfect start in the league, two wins out of two. We're going to be jumping into some Carabao Cup action now at Shrewsbury. It's nice, obviously, like I said, to get sort of lower league opposition in the cup. We had some tough draws last year, and we've always gone out of the cups early. So this year, I would definitely like to change that. So much noise as well about Gareth Bale playing at left back. Don't forget, that's the position that he was when he started his career. So he's more than capable of playing there, and he's only covering while Danny Rose is out injured. So chill out on the bail at left back front. It's not going to be a permanent thing. We are going to move him forward again. Let's jump into the Carabao Cup and see if we can smash a few past Shrewsbury Town and give the youngsters some game time as well. So the home side lining up 4-5-1 formation. Don't know a lot about them, I'm going to be honest with you, but they'll be happy, obviously, just to put in a decent performance today. We are lining up with our usual formation. Lots of rotation, though, as you can see. Sessegnon getting a start at left back. He might be decent and um, could obviously then replace the injured Danny Rose and we can push Bale further back up the pitch. Tammy Abraham, Acosta, Clive at Winks. You can see the team there. Chance for these guys to impress. Edwards, nice turn. Knocks the ball inside. Cliver into Tammy. Oh, what a turn that is. Just sold the defender with his body shape and then blazed it over the bar. Unlucky. Harry Winks has won that header. Don't know how because he was not the taller of the two players. Oh, Cliver. Oh, that's unreal. And then the touch just let him down. Just as he got past the final man, he showed too much of that to the goalkeeper. But that is a glimpse of what he's capable of. He needs to do it, though, at the top level. He's just got back and won the ball back as well. It's a slow start from Shrewsbury here. We're on the front foot, but Tammy Abraham falls over. Edwards, nice touch into Cliver. Oh, little look away pass. Abraham, Cliver, back to Tammy Abraham. Tries a loop in header. He's got too much on it. Lands on the roof of the net. Unlucky. Good link-up play. You can see from the players we've got on show today that we are in a much better position squad-wise than we were last season. This is our sort of backup second string side and it still would give a lot of Premier League teams a run for their money. Here's Harry Winks. Turns to his right. He's got runners. Who's that? Making a run. Is that Edwards? Little touch. Goes past his man. Stands the ball up. What was the defender doing? He got caught underneath the ball and Christian Pulisic steals in. Jumps on the advertising hoarding in front of those home fans. Celebrates. Scores a rare-headed goal. He doesn't score many of those. But we are 1-0 up and it's been coming, hasn't it? We've had some chances. Shrewsbury fans absolutely gutted. Great play from Edwards. Just took it away from the defender. Lifted the ball up. Defender just misjudged the flight of it. Here's Acosta. Gets away from his man. They're so open, Shrewsbury. I don't know why. Knocks the ball back. Here is Edwards. He got the assist for the first goal. That is a lovely ball. Linking up again with Christian Pulisic. Tight angle. Good save by the goalkeeper. Just felt like driving that across goal, really. Maybe a low driven shot would have been the better option. Pulisic. Look at the space. They're, I think they must be set up to like ultra defensive or something because they're so deep. Their defence and midfield is literally sat on the edge of their own box. Here's Pulisic. Turns. Just giving him so much space. Here's Cliver. Oh, that's a nice turn. Oh, that's beautiful. Justin Cliver. This is too easy at the moment. Tottenham 2, Shrewsbury nil. half hour played. Well played. Celebrate in front of your own fans. That's more like it. Although them two aren't happy. What are they doing? Ball's just fizzed into the feet of Cliver. And the first touch was good. He just rolled it onto his right foot and picked out the top corner. Here's Morris. Chance for Shrewsbury to come forward and get himself back into this game. Fizzes the ball out to Rodman. Plays it back inside. Striker. Oh, they've got some space here. And that is a good effort. Hits the post. Dragovski's up quickly. And he makes the save. Ooh, what a let off. See what was happening there. He did get up quite quick, the goalkeeper, and then saved it with his legs. Oh, that is such a good turn. Good ball through as well. We've got some defending to do. They're really coming into this game now. Not just here to lay down, roll over, and be beaten. They spread the ball out to Rodman. Rodman tries... Oh. Is that a camera save? Or was that genuinely a really good stop from Drogovski? I don't think he needed to do that. I think that shot is more central, though. It is quite high for him. He's not the tallest keeper, but he made that look dramatic for me. Corner. Played into the near post. Sanchez half clear. Edwards with a vital block. Another good save from Dragovski. That one, no doubt, was a good save. Really good reaction stop. Shrewsbury, though, really putting us under some pressure as we approach half-time here. Edwards intercepts that pass. He'll be able to take the ball away, although he has lost it to a go-go. Ball into the box. Oh, nice turn. Really nice turn. That is some shoddy defending, to say the least. And that's putting it politely. But what a goal. No idea how you pronounce his name. Nahua? 
You know who it's Arthur, isn't it? I think his first name. I remember having him on Football Manager back in the day. But the home fans going absolutely crazy. And now they're starting to dream of a cup upset once again. It's 2-1. And that will surely be the last action of this first half. What a goal. So after the opening half an hour, it looked as though this was going to be a comfortable cruise to victory. But the way the game is shaped up now, that is not going to be the case. We need to step it up once again. Harry Winks looking for the run of Edwards. He's going to get on the end of that. And he picks someone out in the box. It's a nice turn. Stands the ball up. Oh, Justin Cliver. Good header. Generated a lot of power, but straight at the goalkeeper. Rodman has been dispossessed here by Foyth. Chance for him to venture out of the defence with the ball. Oh, that's a great ball as well. Edwards might have to do it all alone here. Tight angle. He goes for it though. Good save by the goalkeeper. Just tried to catch him out. You can see the reaction of those Spurs players in the box. They want it squared. but And they're taking the goal scorer off. What are they doing? He's been brilliant. It's two on two here somehow. That is such a great ball as well. Here's Payne. They could be in to level it up. Jogowski's off his line. I'm kind of running back with Sanchez. And I've got the block in. I... Brought Dragovski out. I thought they were then going to go for the chip, which is why I took the defender back onto the goal line. But a real chance for the equaliser there, and um, they'll be annoyed that they've wasted it. Corner, driven in. Acosta's not going to win that header. Payne does. But thankfully for us, straight into the arms of our goalkeeper this time. 20 minutes to go. Come on, lads. Just be professional and get through. Here's Tammy Abraham. Chance for him to get involved. He picks out Cliver. Touch. Strike across goal. Good tip over by the goalkeeper. I think that was heading into the roof of the net. Clivert takes this corner. Met by the head of Davidson Sanchez. Wow. 10 out of 10 for that one. That has gone right into the top corner. There was a man on the post. Keeper also threw himself at it. But we've got our two goal advantage back. There's only 12 minutes to go. I think that is well and truly game over. Perfect header. Harry Winks wins possession. That is such a good ball. Here's Clivert. Can he do that lovely turn that I like to do? He can. Oh, that is brilliant. That is simply brilliant. Obviously, they've gone ultra attacking now. But, great skill from Clive Ert. And my favourite celebration. I think we've got a lot more to come from this young man as he plays more and more. That turn was predictable. That one wasn't. And then a little quick poke past the goalkeeper. Just slotted it home with the side foot. Took the shot early, just as the keeper was setting himself. And it's 4-1. Chippier doesn't win that header. Here's Payne. Oh, good challenge from Foyth. He had to get that right. Otherwise, we are in a bit of trouble, but... Five minutes to go, we're, we're sailing through to the next round, surely. Unless an absolute miracle happens and, I don't know, I don't even want to entertain that thought, shall we say. But they are coming forward, Shrewsbury. Here is Hughes. Skins his man. Sanchez tries to stand up. Rodman. OK, 4-2. Another really good goal. There's been some fantastic goals in this game. That's one thing I will say. Rodman would enjoy that one as well. Scoring against Premier League club, no doubt. First touch was brilliant. Second touch was even better. Oh, Pulisic just heads it past the defender. I think he's running out of stamina a little bit, but you wouldn't know it. Shall I lay this off and have a crack? Absolutely not. No long shots allowed. Here is Acosta. Oh, great footwork from Pablo Acosta. Oh, how unlucky. Brilliant save by the goalkeeper to deny him. Wee, full-time whistle goes. Through we go. Into the draw for the next round. Let's have a look at the other results. See if there's been any upsets. There normally is in the Carabao Cup, because obviously Premier League teams normally... Put out a second string side. So Arsenal lost to Aston Villa. There's an upset straight away. What else have we got? Down at the bottom there. No. Can't see any other big clubs. Any upsets? I think all went to plan. So Watford have come in with a loan offer for Harry Winks. Again, I'm rejecting it like we did with the others. And some good news on the left back front. Danny Rose is fit to return from injury. We've got transfer deadline day next before we do any games a lot of people suggesting that we sell Danny Rose but I think he's still okay to do a job first team in my opinion I don't think left back is an urgent area I don't think we have any urgent areas where we need to strengthen so I could by all means just see how we do in the first half of the season and save a big pot of money till January where we can improve where we need to transfer offer from Borussia Dortmund 34.7 million for Sun not happening I'm keeping him I really really like him actually well this is strange because we were talking about selling Danny Rose a minute ago. Munch and Gladbach have put a bid in for him. Let's go to the negotiations and see how much we can raise. Because for the right money, I will listen to you guys and I will move him on. And then we could look to bring in a world-class left back. So £28.5 million pounds is the fee that I'm promote, uh, proposing. So just over 10 mil above his valuation. Because he is tw 29 now. I know this is our last season, so it doesn't really make a difference. Um, and I've got a lot of money anyway, but... 
They're saying they're only willing to pay 23 and a half. Okay. Let's see if we can get that up to 26 and a half if we lower our demands a little bit. Get that extra couple of million. No, fine. He's stormed out. Cool. Keeping Danny Rose then, aren't we? Although I could still sign another left back. As it's our last season here, I'm looking to make it uh, a bit of a marquee signing. So Alexandro and Ricardo Rodriguez are the two left backs I'm going to go for. I'm going to go in for Sandro first because I think we can actually get him quite cheap. He's got a relatively short amount of time remaining on his Juve contract. So we could put in a low bid and possibly try and snatch him. So they want £41 million pounds is what he's, well, that's what he's valued at. So I'm going to offer 40 to start with and see how those negotiations go. Going to have to do better than that. How about 50? So even 50 mil for Alexandro is not too bad. Let's see if we can meet in the middle. Straight up, 45 million pounds. And I would be absolutely delighted with that because he is a world-class left back linked with a move to the Premier League in real life. They're saying they're not willing to reduce their demands any further. How about 47 and a half? So again, kind of meeting in the middle. Not willing to reduce any further. I don't want him storming out. I'm going to bid 50 million, 50.6 million for Alexandro. Okay, so we've agreed. Crucial first team player status, four year contract, no release clause. And he wants us to submit what we're willing to pay him. I'm going to offer 220 to begin with. Obviously, that would still leave us with a fair amount of money. We'd have to do a slight budget adjustment. And I'm going to offer him 1.5 million to sign. Will that be enough or will he demand more? Yeah, I thought he might. He was on 200k a week at Juve. Alexandro has completed his move to Spurs. I'll just skip the cutscene like an idiot, but he signed. We've got him. We've got our man. Liverpool want Harry Winks on loan. Are you mad? Not going anywhere. I'm going to reject that straight away, even though it would be cool to see him at Liverpool. See if he could get in their side. However, we have had a transfer offer from Roma for Kyle Walker-Peters of seven and a half. Now, like I said, it is the last season here, I think. So looking at developing young players is not really on my radar. Not something that I'm looking to do. It is his valuation. I could probably negotiate that. Actually, I will. Well, don't sell the player for less than... Don't sell the player for less than seven and a half. But try and get 12 and a half. Oh, no. Try and get 10. Try and get 10. Let's not scare Roma away. See what happens there. Big offer for Eric Dyer from Juventus. Not a player that I'm looking to get rid of at this stage in the series. So that is straight up being rejected. Roma have offered 8.1 million now. Does that mean Does that mean it's been accepted? I think it does. So he's negotiating with Roma right now. No, the assistant manager is currently negotiating with Roma. He'll get back to you once he's reached an agreement. Let's retract that and just cancel the offer. So we did have another club interested in Kyle Walker-Peters, but we actually decided that we're going to keep him in the end, just to have him around for the cup games and stuff. We don't really need that extra 7 mil. Milan want Hyun Min Son. He's going nowhere. I'm not even going to respond. Just going to delete that. And Sassuolo wanted Kieran Trippier, but I'm going to keep him around as well. He is kind of our go-to right back, so to speak. So back to Premier League action and back to a full-strength side and a debut for that man, Alexandro. Which of course means Gareth Bale has been pushed further forward again. So I'm sure you'll all be pleased about that. He'll be playing wide on the right. Son on the left. This is a very attacking formation. They are not wing backs. Let me make that quite clear. That's why we're playing four at the back to give us that cushion. It gives kind of the front five. You can see Son, Eriksen, Kane, Ali, Bale. The freedom to roam. And Kovacic is in there really just to give the team a little bit of balance between uh, defence and attack. And then Brighton are lining up 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. Izzy Brown playing behind Kalinic. He squared out on the left. He's quick. Other than that, we should have enough to beat them today. Kalinic finds Izzy Brown. Alderweireld is in there. Very strong defending. Here's Bale. Licensed to run at players again because if he gives it away here, it's not likely to result in a goal for the opposition. And what is that for defending? Harry Kane is in. And Harry Kane just fires it past Matthew Ryan. And gives us the lead inside five minutes. The ball from, from Bale was okay. The defending from Duffy, I think it was, was not okay at all. How can you misjudge the direction of the ball that badly? Just dangled out a leg. By that point, Kane was past him and sticking the ball away. Kalinic. Alderweireld in there again. Obviously, it was his challenge that set up the uh, initial attack for the first goal. Here's Gareth Bale. 
whoever that is, is actually staying with him quite well. Bale, though, chance to pick someone out in the box. He puts the ball in. Volley merged from Son. What a connection that was. Saved and headed away. Son, this time, going to lay it back. Why not on your debut? Alexandro Bosch. No. I just had to. It was Sandro. It's his first touch in a Tottenham shirt. It could have been a goal. Izzy Brown into Kalinic. Oh, Alderweireld got stopped diving in because he's been booked. What a pass that is. Until the offside flag went up. Thankfully, I'm relieved. Was it close? Let's have a look. Alderweireld, look how lucky he is. <laughs> was it close? Mm, yeah, it was actually. I didn't see Sandro so deep. Chance for a Brighton counter-attack though. Izzy Brown plays the ball through Kalinic. Izzy Brown is making a run. Got to be a good... Oh, my word. I was going to say, it has to be a good challenge here. Kalinic did run offside, thankfully, meaning that Izzy Brown could only shoot. Sandro threw himself at it, but that was creeping in, I think. Definitely curling. Reese with the save. Corner. Flicks in near post to Kalinic. Off the line by Sandro, although I do think Lloris had it covered. He had to make another save. Brighton getting back into this just after half an hour played. Lays the ball off. Kovacic goes wide. Kimmich back into Kovacic. Space has opened up for him. Touch and strike. Oh, it's a great save from Ryan. Good hit as well, to be fair. Corner. Played short. Kovacic, nice little back heel. Jan Vertonghen wants it on his left foot. He's got it there through a crowd of players. And Ryan pulls off yet another save. Son. Oh, what a pass. Christian Eriksen could be in. Oh, he's hit one. Low and hard, but not very accurate. Oh, nice touch from Harry Kane. Eriksen finds Kane again. There's a runner on the left. Dinked through. Can we dink it over the goalkeeper? That is absolutely world class. It's Kovacic with his second league goal in three games. That was brilliant. Harry Kane turning provider. You'd expect it to be the other way around. But that finish, so composed. See, it all started with a nice touch from Kane. Eriksen gave it back to him. He just scooped it over the top. And Ryan was kind of caught in no man's land. Great time to double our lead as well. Just two minutes before the half-time break. That is going to knock the stuff in right out of this Brighton side. Son with the throw in. Kimmich finds Bale. Bale into Kovacic. Already scored one. Instead he lays this one off. Sandro. Shot power is good. So is the pace. Alexandro on his debut. Wow. It just opened up for him. Bale was attacking from left back and got himself into some shooting positions. But Sandro's like, anything you can do, mate. I can do better. You stick to playing out wide on the right and I'll do the business from left back. Beat his man, though, far too easy there. And then Duffy didn't know whether to mark Kane or the space. And in the end, it just opened up and he was left with a relatively simple finish. Just got his head over the ball, put his foot through it, and Wrighton was beaten. Wrighton or uh, Ryan? Because we're playing Brighton. I'm getting my words mixed up here. Kalinic, back to Storari. All played out to Iskair, though. Izzy Brown. Plays it forward, Schmelz up, stands the ball up. Oh, there's a man unmarked at the back stick, and the header was tame. It was a very tame header. Alexandro caught out, though, in terms of his positioning. Is Izzy Brown. This game is 3-0, is but it doesn't. that's harsh on Brighton, that scoreline. And I don't know how they haven't been given a free kick on the edge of the box there. That was definitely a foul. Is Izzy Brown taking on Jan Vertonghen. He's got some life in the old leg yet, although he has been skinned. Oh, and that's a really nice ball through to Callan. It's got to be careful. No, we haven't because he's given the ball straight back to us. Thank you, mate. Bale into Deli Alley. There's a runner on the right and it's Kimmich. Bale is still making a run inside. He's been found. Volley merged. Bang. Unlucky. Here's Kalinic for Brighton. Going down the right-hand side. It's a good ball. Jan Vertonghen outpaced. Brighton with a chance to get themselves a goal. A clean sheet would be nice. Bale desperately trying to defend. But the final shot, as it has been probably four or five times, that Brighton have come forward. The final shot has just been tame and weak. Only a couple of minutes left, but I do like making changes. I think it keeps everybody happy when they get some sort of appearances because Leon Goretzka has been moaning lately that he's not been in the team. Goretzka wins the header. Deli Alley with some sort of chicken dance. Kane is going to get... Just makes it look simple, doesn't he? Finishing Harry Kane. Oh, that was lovely. We're cruising. Going to be three out of three. Going to maintain our perfect start. I think that may well be my favourite goal of the bunch. It was a bit fortunate. Had the ball drop down to him. But he just smashed it first time into the top corner. Matthew Ryan was just getting himself set. You can see he was in mid-air when Harry Kane actually let fly. And that is a great goal. Oh, what are they doing? Why have they just given the ball back like that? Kane plays it through to Ali. It could be five here. Deli Ali across goal. Any sort of touch. And that would have been five. Full time whistle goes. Love that. I mean... 
It looks as though we've won both games comfortably until I would say the 70th minute. They've both been very competitive games. Brighton had some chances. <laughs> Look at the manager. Brighton had a lot of chances but just weren't able to finish with any kind of conviction. And thinking back to the Shrewsbury game, it took a set piece for us to restore our two-goal advantage and um, then really go away with it and take control of the game. But they were competitive games. It's not like we're having everything our own way. I'm pleased to get Alexandro in and I'm delighted that he got a debut goal. That's not good news. You can see the breaking news there that Son has suffered a sprained knee. Going to be out for three weeks. I think he had the same injury last year. But credit to us, Southampton and Liverpool, for maintaining our perfect records. We are the only side yet to concede a goal in the league. I didn't realise that, but we haven't really... Actually, yeah, we have. We played Chelsea on the opening day. I was going to say we haven't really been tested yet, but we did play Chelsea, didn't we? Who are in fifth place. Leicester, the other team in the top four. West Ham... Newcastle and Norwich currently in the bottom three with a point. Manchester United hovering in 17th place. Poor start for them. Just the one point from their opening three games. But still too early to judge. Very early on in the season. Deadline is closed. Hope you're happy with the Sandro signing. You guys were screaming out for me to sign another left back. So that's what I went and did. Do drop a like if you've enjoyed this one, guys. Please also subscribe if you are new to the channel. It continues to grow very nicely. Recently hitting 22k, 22,000, I should say, subscribers. So thank you very much for that. And I will see you next time.